Pascal. And I am Suresh Kurong. Let's go to the today's problem. Okay. Let's construct a square having its length is one unit and give the name of the square is A, B, C, D. Then construct a line A, E such that this angle will be 70 degree. Again similarly construct a line A, F such that this angle that means E, A of angle will be 45 degree then join EF okay and then join EF then the question is we have to find the value of this angle and the perimeter of this triangle that is EFC okay EFC and uh, find the value of this angle that is AFE so this is the question okay now this is the question and just pause the video and also solve with your own idea with your own time okay and after this come to the solution part okay let's go to the solution part well this problem can be solved by using two method okay two method the first is trigonometrical method and the second is congruency method or metering method whatever okay trigonometrical method or congruency method this from this two method we can solve this problem and i will do both method for you all of you now we will do first trigonometrical method okay we will do first trigonometrical method okay now now each corner okay each corner of the square is 90 degree then from triangle ade the remaining angle this will be 20 degree why because the sum of three inter angle of a triangle are 180 degree and there is also the corner okay a is also the corner of this square so this value is also 90 degree then the remaining this angle will be 90 minus 45 minus 20 degree which is 25 degree so after all we got this okay after all we got this also the b is also the corner of this square so this value also is 90 degree and the remaining angle will be 65 degree as same as angle ad okay now let's the magnitude of te bx let the magnitude of te bx then the magnitude of ec will be 1 minus x why because the whole magnitude of dc is 1 which is the given okay which is given and similarly if we assume the magnitude of BF is Y then the magnitude of FC will be 1 minus Y alright then magnitude of FC will be 1 minus Y okay now from triangle ADE look at the triangle ADE you see 10 20 degree is equal to X upon 1 why because tan theta is equal to p upon b okay the ratio of tan theta is going to p upon b and here p is de which is x and b is da or ad which is one so x upon one so overall we get what we got x is equal to tan 20 degree now replace x by 20 degree okay replace x by 20, 10 20 degree similarly from triangle okay a b f okay from triangle a b f what we have here we have here 10 25 degree is equal to y upon 1 p upon b and p is y here okay 
P is Y and B has AB which is also one unit so we got Y is equal to 10 25 degree so replacing Y by 10 25 degree now from triangle okay from triangle okay, okay from triangle EFC from triangle EFC this is also a right angle triangle and we can use here Pythagoras theorem what is that as the square is equal to b square plus b square so since b is 1 minus 10 25 degree and b is 1 minus 10 25 degree so the magnitude of EF will be this that is 1 minus 10 20 degree of whole square plus 1 minus 10 25 degree of whole square <sighs> then let's simplify this okay then we have to expand the formula a minus b whole square okay okay 1 minus 10 20 degree whole square means 1 minus 2 10 20 degree plus 10 square 20 degree and 1 minus 10 25 degree whole square means 1 minus 2 10 25 degree plus 10 square 25 degree then what okay then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and this minus 2 10 20 degree and this minus 2 10 25 degree from this two term we come on minus 2 we come on minus 2 and the remaining part is 10 24 degree plus and 10 25 degree and the remaining part is 10 square 20 degree plus 10 square 25 degree so the technique is here the technique is that we go are going to convert this term in 10 a plus b okay 10 a plus b and for this we have to what we have to divide it 1 minus 10 a dot 10 b and a is here 20 degree and b is 25 degree and and for cancellation and for equalization for equalization we have to multiply the same factor isn't it multiply the same factor then look at this this is going to in the form of what yes 10 a plus b 10 a plus b where a is 20 degree and b is 25 degree now 20 plus 25 degree means 10 25 degree which is the value of what which have magnitude is 1 and then when we got 1 2 into 1 is 2 so 2 multiply this means 2 into 1 minus 2 and minus minus plus and 2 into 10 20 degree 10 25 degree is what 10 20 degree dot 10 25 degree and the remaining part is here then what then yes 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and the remaining term look at the remaining term is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square isn't it if we assume a a as 10 20 degree and b as 10 25 degree then we get a square b square plus 2 a b okay this yes a is 10 20 degree and b is 10 25 degree of an whole square now this is square and square it cancel so we get this value so after simplification we got the value of this 10 20 degree plus 10 25 degree isn't it now the perimeter of the triangle EFC perimeter of the triangle EFC is what EFE plus EC plus CF and here what is here okay here FE is 10 20 degree plus 10 25 degree EC is 1 minus 10 20 degree and CF is 1 minus 10 25 degree so substituting this values and this look look there is a cancellation point cancellation term what is that 10 20 and 10 20 will be cancelled then 25 and 10 20 will be cancelled so remaining is 2 so the perimeter of the triangle EFC is 2 okay now then let's go we have to remind the value of this angle for this let this angle EFC be theta then you know from triangle EFC, EFC is also a right angle triangle. 
that is tan theta okay we can use trigonometrical value that is tan theta and tan theta is equal to p upon b and where p is 1 minus tan 20 degree b is 1 minus tan 25 degree okay again we have to simplify it okay again we have to simplify it then what that we have tan theta is equal to 1 minus tan 20 degree upon 1 minus tan 25 degree then we have to rationalize or, or we have to multiply uh, denominator and denominator by the same factor 1 plus 10 25 degree and then what we got we got this we got this uh, okay 1 1 plus 10 25 degree multiply 1 plus 10 1 plus 10 25 degree and minus 10 20 degree means minus 10 20 degree and minus plus minus and minus 10 20 degree into 10 25 degree as this okay now then we substitute 1 as 10 45 degree because 10 45 degree is 1 so replacing 1 by 10 45 degree then okay 10 25 degree is here 10 45 degree is here and 10 20 degree is here now we uh, are going to join together this 10 45 degree and 10 20 degree and we are going to convert it in tan a minus v form tan a minus v form as the previous simplification so for this we have to divide same 1 plus 10 45 degree dot 10 20 degree and for equalization we have to multiply 1 in plus 10 45 degree dot 10 20 degree then what then okay this will go in the form of tan a minus b and remaining part okay now this 45 minus 20 degree means 25 degree 10 25 degree and 10 25 degree into 1 is 10 25 degree and 10 25 degree into 10 45 degree into 10 20 degree means 10 25 degree into 10 20 degree why because the 10 45 degree is already 1 okay now now, now there is the cancellation term here also that means this and this will be cancelled then remaining 10 25 degree 10 25 degree to 10 25 degree and okay the 10 minute part 1 minus 10 is going to 25 degree which is in the form a square minus b square yes and this will be 10 to theta that means 10 50 degree so we got the value of theta is 50 degree so this is the value after this we get this value theta is equal to 50 degree then the remaining this value remaining this value will be what 180 degree minus 65 degree minus 50 degree why because this is the stood angle which is what which is 65 degree so using trigonometrical method we have solved this problem but Yes, trigonometrical uh, simplification is very interesting part in this method, okay? Tri trigonometrical simplification is the most interesting part of this method. Okay, now the next we are going to do to solve this by congruency method. This is the second method, okay? And this method is also called mirroring method. This method is also called with mirroring method for this extend b to z extend b to z and if we join a z then angle a z b must be 70 degree this is the construction part which is possible isn't it so then take this um, two two triangle take this two triangle a z b and a e d okay then what okay this angle are equal and also this angle are equal 90 degree 90 degree and this and this are side are also equal because this is the side of the square so what there is the axiom made which axiom is made angle angle side angle angle side axiom is made which means that these two triangle are congruent these two triangle are congruent so using congruency what we have this az and ae are equal
SAZ and A E are equal. Also take two triangle up. Also take two triangle that is A Z F and A F E. That is A Z F and A F E. Okay. And we are also going to the congruency of this two triangle. How? Look. Okay, this is 90 degree, isn't it? This is 90 degree, so this remaining will be 20 degree. And the sum of these two angles will be 45 degree. So, from this two triangle, we get equal one angle. Okay, equal one angle. And this is the common side. And this side is already equal by previous congruency by previous congruency so what we got we are also axiom here the axiom is yes side angle side axiom and this axiom we can say that these two triangle are congruent so this congruency by using this congruency we can say that this angle and this angle are equal corresponding angle of opposite equal sides so what we have there we have here AFE will be 65 degree the next we have to calculate perimeter of the triangle EFC for this let us suppose the magnitude of DX then what then GB also be X because this triangle AGB and AED is already congruent so if we suppose this x then gb also be x and if we assume b of y then what then fe will be x plus y because gf is equal to fe this is the second congruency okay gb will be x from the first congruency and uh, fe will be x plus y because of second congruency so what the magnitude of fe will be x plus y then ec no then fc will be 1 minus y and ec will be 1 minus x then we have the perimeter is fe plus ec plus cf and fe is x plus y ec is 1 minus x cf is 1 minus y and there is also cancellation point term here that is x x y y which is 2 so this congruency method also solve the problem and which is quite shorter uh, than trigonometrical method because trigonometrical method is more lengthy than this and also there is trigonometrical simplification part which is very harder and but in this um, congruency method it is just uh, hard to construct construction part okay this mirroring method and mirroring method the, the hard point is construction part and in trigonometrical method the hard point is trigonometrical simplification so so using this two's method we can solve this problem so thank you for watching and if you like this my this video please like subscribe my channel and also comment for your positive feedback or negative feedback i will accept that so once again thank you